this fast food restaurant, Mom. Oh, it's no trouble at all. It's the least you deserve for getting good grades in your school work. Oh dear, I'm so hungry. Why can't I have any burger and fries? Ugh, stop your whining, Lexi. You should be grateful that I brought you here instead of leaving you at home. But how come Rachel gets to have burger and fries and I don't? Because Rachel is my real daughter, and you're just a foster daughter. That means that you don't get treated the same as she does. But, don't you get paid for looking after me? So shouldn't that money be used to buy me things like food and clothes? Ha! Huh. Do you really think that I would waste my hard-earned money on you? Think again, little girl. It's not going to happen. Hey, Lexi. How about I get you a cheeseburger out of my pocket money? Rachel, do not waste your pocket money on that brat. She doesn't deserve it. Please can't I have just one cheeseburger? I'm so hungry. No, now be quiet and stop complaining. Otherwise, I'll send you back to the children's home. Well, I'd rather be back at the children's home than live with a mean and selfish woman like you. You little brat, how dare you talk back to me? Right, for that, you won't be getting any food for the rest of the evening. Now go wait outside. No, please. I'm sorry. Well, sometimes, sorry doesn't cut it, young lady. Now go wait outside. Mom, that is enough. Excuse me, Rachel, but don't you talk to me like that. You are 12 years old. Mom, this has to stop. I'm getting really sick and tired of you mistreating Lexi as her foster mother. It's your job to take care of her like she was your own. For your information, Rachel, taking care of Lexi is a business. With me fostering her, I get paid lots of money. Besides, aren't you happy that I'm able to buy you nice things with that money I'm earning looking after Lexi? Well, yeah, but that money should also be used on Lexi. I mean, that's what it's for, right? Rachel is right. That money is to be used to buy me things like food, clothes, etc. Oh, be quiet, Lexi. I didn't ask for your opinion, and I thought I told you to go and wait outside. Hey, is everything okay over here? Oh yes, everything is fine Mr. Fast Food Restaurant employee. My foster daughter is just acting up a little that's all. I think she's feeling a little cranky. Oh come on. We both know that is not true. Yeah, you, you. Ugh, I don't feel so good. Oh stop attention seeking Lexi. Pretending to feel unwell isn't going to get you out of trouble. Oh my god, she passed out. Ugh. Just leave her. She's only doing it for attention. She does it all the time. Or maybe it's because you haven't fed her for almost a week. I see. Well, is this true, madam? Have you been starving this poor child? That is none of your business. She's my foster daughter. I get paid for looking after her so therefore I can do what I want with her. You are a disgrace, starving your foster child when you're supposed to be taking care of her. Well, let's see what social services have to say about this. But for now, I need to get this poor girl to a hospital, and then I'm reporting you to social services. After passing out from starvation in the fast food restaurant, Lexi was taken to the hospital. She was diagnosed with malnutrition and upon hearing about the situation, Lexi's social worker removed Lexi from her cruel foster mother's care. Oh thank goodness, you're awake. How are you feeling? Very hungry. Don't worry, I'll go and get you something from the cafeteria. Lexi's foster sister Rachel explained to the social worker about her mother's treatment of Lexi and how she only fostered her for the money. As a result of this, the foster mother was charged with child abuse and neglect. She was also banned from fostering any more children. Her birth daughter Rachel was also removed from her care as Rachel no longer wanted anything to do with her after the way she treated Lexi. This is where you belong you child abusing witch. Eventually, Lexi made a full recovery and was eventually adopted by the fast food restaurant employee and his wife. Her foster sister Rachel was also adopted along with Lexi. I'm so glad that we are officially sisters now, and I'm sorry for how my mom treated you. It's okay Lexi, it wasn't your fault. Disgusted by her mother's behavior, Rachel cut ties with her, and that evil, foster mother spent the rest of her stupid and pathetic life in prison. Ugly bitch.